and Santa, 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 or Santa Claus are going. I'm curious at this point what he will go for. Will he be going for some type of. Oh, Azal. There we go. We see your Azal. That's your favorite immortal, isn't it, Dom? Wait. Sparkling? What's up? We see some Zal coming in oh, from. Uh, we got a, someone winning a key, but I think they already have a key. Oh, okay. Good for them. Yeah, Sparkling definitely has a key. You know, maybe some people want to give it to their friends. We never know. And uh, Santa... I mean, I guess... Santa going, Santa going Zal was always a fun treat. I'm curious what type of build he has planned here on Found Province, as he says. Fine, I well, guess Scruffy, the doing it. Okay. Scruffy will have to be the defender here. Hmm. This is a pretty beautiful screen. We see the uh, the the three immortals that we know well. We see Jari, Orzum, and Mal at the top. At the bottom, we do see Decker. We do. Uh, yeah, uh, Decker. We're looking forward with bated breath for Jora to be released. But they're not in yet, so we'll just forget that we ever saw that. We do, yeah. however, have some change up as Santa Claus going for Zol. Santa Claus going for Zol? That's what I was telling you. You weren't listening to me. God. I'm sorry. I had to, like a million other things to deal with. <laughs> That's fine. So yeah, Santa going for your favorite immortal, and uh, I wonder what cheeky thing he has planned. And you know, I have an idea because he's yeah okay double E for to begin with. Okay, you know something's cheeky's coming up. Oh, well, uh, it's just a lot of options. I mean, yeah, they, it could be, be a, it could be Akalix quickly. It could be Icors quickly. Actually, this sounds like a Santa thing to do. It's gonna be Wetwood Reapers quickly, I believe. Uh, you know what? So that's the most likely. You're right. That, that's a, that's a very Santa thing to do. Scruffy will see it coming. We'll, we'll see something coming, and then he was like, "Okay, where are you? What are you doing right now? Are you expanding?" And yeah, Santa's gonna expand after his double Efer, I'm supposing. But he just needs a lot of Efer for you know expensive units like Wetwood Reapers. And those Bone Stalkers are very powerful in the early game. One of the biggest changes we had was Bone Stalkers getting 380 speed from the get go. Well, most units only have 3.5, so that extra extra point for your speed just makes such a big difference in that early game. They can actually run away from things now. They like they oh, yeah. can choose their fights now, which is how Zol's supposed to be played. Oh, yeah. That's great. They choose their, they run away from anything from the get go. Just such a powerful buff for those uh, early engagers. It kind of forces Orzum to stay back. I'm not sure how much Gruffy has played against that, uh, but his early Zentari might not want to go too far out as he might be chased down. Of course, he can always head back home too get those stuff a bit faster. Santa doing also a cheeky thing of getting that uh, the tower yeah, to attack tower. The, the base from the start. There's been some people deciding how to deal with it. There's yeah, people pulling there's, there's been some discussion it, yeah. about that. I mean, at the same time, the fact that moats can fight towers without being fought back almost balances it out in a weird way. Yep. You still have like, to there pull is your counter play. Expensive. Yeah, you have to pull your moats, which is expensive. Uh, but you don't want to do that. And... Okay, where's Santa putting his... Uh, we, Santa's, Santa's symbiote is still on the map. Where is, what's he doing with it? It's not at the... I believe it's still on the map on the bottom. It is just yeah, kind of hanging go. out. Doesn't I seem to really know proxy. what to do. See, what I've seen from Santa a few times is him putting that actually in his opponent's base because you don't you don't scout your opponent's... You don't count, scout your own base. So it's a great place for a proxy. So um, let's see what Santa's up to. Teapot coming in, getting the full vision, and here come the Bone Stalkers, ready to wreak havoc. Go for the Pyre first. Nope. See Santa. Oh, whoa, does Santa go for... What did they do with their Pyre? I don't see any Blood Wells. I don't see any... Oh, wait a sec. There's there the go. Blood Well. Okay. Yep. Oh! That's... Yeah, it's a proxy oh! Weapon yep. Yeah. Obviously. There it is. Obviously, that's what he's going for. What else would he go for? This is Santa. Oh, God. Yeah. We Get saw the Red Veil, of course. Yeah, we saw the Red Veil as well, so we know exactly that he's going for Whitewood Reapers. Killing down those rocks and then just jumping on his opponents while the Bone Stalkers just do as much damage as he can at the front. It's going to be exciting to see how he pulls this off and how much damage he can actually do. He has a bit of fire, uh, not as much as uh, Scruffy, so Scruffy can put down some defensive towers, which can make a big difference in defending these. Well, oh, either Santa. two defensive towers or Pillar of the Heavens. Yeah, and Santa keep splitting up his army, making sure his opponent is aware that he's on the right side and on the left side. And like you said, Orzum doesn't really want to engage if they, if they can avoid it, simply because the Bone Stalkers get to run away. 
Yes, it's, it's curious to see what Scruffy is exactly planning to go for his units. What powerful units does he want? And, yeah. And Santa making it look like they've got a general tech build in case any more scouts come in. I do and like the position of the Red Veil, because you'd have to get near enough the Bastion your scout would die. So it's, it'd be Scruffy a risky scout. Scruffy might not actually care about this. Scruffy has enough for a pillar. He can just go into his opponent and kill his natural. And while the Whitewood Reapers are coming, they're coming on the other side. Okay, Santa going for static defense. That's a good choice. Icor coming in slowly but surely, but it might be too late as the pillar comes down immediately. Oh, they've got another 20 seconds of the Icor. So this is just a dead expansion. There is no saving it. It all comes down yeah. to whether these Whitewood Reapers can get their counterattack in and do the damage they need to do. Okay, does he go for the rocks? He can go directly to natural. All of his opponent's army is at his base. Santa can just run in with those directly. I don't think they're noticing it. One Icor pops out. It can start kiting and doing some damage. It's... Something? Um, well, Micro, maybe? Santa, Bone you need to, able to come in. in. Whitewood Reapers need to do something. They need the counter damage to happen. Okay, I do need to kill that. Got okay, the rocks. Going for the rocks. Uh, they'll die quickly. The DPS on the Whitewood Reapers is insane as well. Yeah, it's like 50 or 60 or something. It is. I guess... I think it's right, 100 he's going for the at that base. point. Both so, bases yeah, might go down. And the big difference here, Santa actually has damage that can keep going. Scruffy need, doesn't necessarily need to have uh, need to have that pyre to get down that uh, the second pillar in the main, but it helps a lot. What what Reapers? They're just getting infused and going for that base. Base going down quickly as heck. Oof. Third expansion coming up for Scruffy, however. Santa well aware of it, but this does mean that Scruffy is at an advantage. Or was, as Santa go for the hidden corner expansion, meaning that Scruffy cannot trivially take this out. Why would Reapers do whiff on on their skill shot? They do not go invisible. Going for the Bastion, however. Just to both oh, no, cut off the one. damage. Losing two? Oh, that's a lot. That is a lot, a lot to lose. <laughs> not worth it. Not worth it. Those four efforts are enough to take these out. He just needs the invisible yeah. to get out. There is no uh -huh. taking that back now. The, the Zephyrs are on their way back home. So losing the main base is not going to be a base race situation, taking all the Acropolises. Because he More could have gone for it, especially as he killed, killed half of that base as well. Uh, well. Let's see what the next step is. Next step, uh, going for the third. Trying to force it to cancel. Insane DPS again. Uh, but not quite fast enough. Oh! Scruffy. Okay, standing in the Zephyrs instead. Oh, kind of depends. There's the invisibility. So they got oh, four really? seconds to just wreck face. Is it enough? Is this enough, enough to kill this base? It's not enough. enough. If there was four of them, it'd be enough. But only two is not enough. Santa Claus, however, can count. Can keep time. They're at least able to deal with that. Oh, on the other side, Santa's, Santa's main base is all he has. He has the natural well, the natural in the bottom corner building up. And he does... Okay, he's getting stuff slowly but surely. Yeah. Uh, what's his next step? Uh, more Bone Stalkers to try and kill the tower at his uh, natural base. This, of course, uh, this opponent decided to the tower to help defend. Oh, there we go. The next push comes in. Oh, infuse. infuse. Go invisible. Only three of them go invisible. I don't think more than that. Nothing probably. matters. It doesn't matter. The teapot's there. <laughs> oh, Seriously? smart play getting that teapot. Oh, he needs to kill this to get out. Oh, that wall off. Well, that wall off perfectly placed. And that's an expensive loss from Santa again. Oh, surprisingly, still kind of keeping even on army value, but it's looking like Santa's whole harassment plan is starting to run to a wall. Yeah. And that wall is a flying teapot. Well, Santa can go for that base. It's already at half HP, and Scruffy's a bit out of position, but how much? Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm Emperor Unbroken to keep it alive. It's Orzum. Orzum is never out of position. <laughs> on the other hand, this, this little bit of proxy route way is... Well, it needs to be defended. Santa's entire yeah. strategy rests on this thing existing. Uh, and they know it. Shot off? Oh. No, oh, there's no point. Yeah. There's no point. Nah. The teapot's there. Yeah, Scruffy played it really safe, just heading back to that teapot so he wouldn't have to take the damage. But that means he leaves the other bases exposed, so Santa could sniff out a small opportunity here, but nah, he doesn't want to risk it again. Although there's not much eh, there. Santa, they might. Aw. Oh, a few seconds too late, Zephyrs are in, right in time. I don't they go but... for it, but again, you have the options. Mark Prey comes down, does not get the damage boost. So there's no special damage on there, and the Zephyrs do their job. Defense does its job. Santa Claus is completely done on their harassment. Yep, uh, completely done in his harassment, and uh, 
We'll see if he can do something else for the game, because uh, it's only Bone Stalkers coming out. He's going back for the Amber Room to get some powerful units. But the tower is still here for Scruffy. Scruffy has that tower there. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, they have full control of this natural. That was... Honestly, Santa Claus doesn't seem like they... They're kind of relying on this weird out-of-the-way expansion that Scruffy's not even looking for. I think, really, the natural is almost there as a mind game. I mean, yep. if Santa cancels it, that would make a lot of sense, because it's being attacked, so why wouldn't you? But the fact that this this stuff in the south, that's what really counts. Yep. And Santa yeah, does so. cancel it. Yeah, Santa got cancelled here. It's, uh, it's gonna happen, not just this Christmas, apparently. And... Oh, oh I wonder if they've... Okay, so they got the Neurosite, which means that they can start getting stock and ambush on their stalker, on the Bone Stalker. They're shifting quite quickly to a Bone Stalker only build, so they do have two upgrades they have to get first. And can you get the tower? And hopefully not lose too many bone stalkers. The Scruffy is a bit out of position to defend it. Uh, but can you be out of position? You already no. mentioned that you have Empire Broken. It's impossible <laughs> to be out of position. <laughs> and of course the Rook of Ira deals splash damage. Empire and Broken a tower, so that's already a solution. Stop these bone stalkers from running riot running oh. riot. It's okay, Santa just did that to get his opponent on his guards and <laughs> And now Santa, and he's forced his opponents to use his pirate that he can't do a pillar anymore. So it's perfect for Santa. That's exactly what he wanted. Santa is ready for the next step in his plan. Well, the next step is get stock, get ambush, and run the bone stalkers in using the damage boost to just wipe before they get counterattacked. And uh, which in the meantime, is Scruffy. Uh, yeah. Scruffy sending Centaurus on the map. He thinks, okay, Santa can't have not expanded for this long, and he will def he will find it. Flying teapots on one side, Centauri on the other, finding the base undefended. And Scruffy is a significant economic advantage, significant army advantage as well. Santa, they got their resonance up. And with the new animation, Which move too. now? Yeah. Yep. They're cute. Man, their movement is just so so pretty. The way they move, just like step by step by step. And ooh, look at their shooting animations. Too. Okay, I wanted to get see them sieged up now. Yeah, Can it's I a it's that? a really cool animation. That everything has been animated. It's. Art team did a good job. Here come the Frummies. Frummies Which have also been increasing. Before. Yeah, they're... Thrummies thrum have gotten big. Thrummies got swole. Yeah, and on top of that, uh, nah, they, they just eat a lot more ether, which explains how, how they got so expensive. Oh, killing those detectors is always fun. Stop you from uh, seeing oh, the Whitewood no, Reapers. They're the map. They're, no, I mean, the Whitewood Reapers are dead. That That is over. Yep. Bases are also dead. You get invisibility Santa Claus. from the Bone Hunters. Uh, they bone do. Stalkers. You're right. The Bone Stalkers are going to benefit from that. Residents. Okay, Santa needs the fight of his life here. He needs the perfect fight. Gets many you know, the, the Frums are getting his opponents out of position. And okay, infuse comes down. To use. It's not the full army. Residents up as well. This is the one thing Santa has going for them. Scruffy has split their army. Now Santa is able to take out one force, losing mi make with minimal losses on the Bone Stalkers. And they can just keep up this divide and conquer strategy, which was done essentially for them. Then Santa might be able to turn this around. And yeah, there's only four Zephyrs here. Zephyrs might want to run away. There's no ambush. Okay, two more Zephyrs coming in, and those two residents at the back shooting their life out, and that's so much damage coming out of Zephyrs. He needs this whole army to come back, and Scruffy's getting ready for the surround. The full surround coming in here. Units from the back, units from the front, and... Mark Prey comes in to get the damage boost. The last few Zephyrs do get the damage boost on them. It's it's actually relevant, but unfortunately, it's also at the cost of Scru Santa's entire army, so Scruffy taking game one off of defending cheese. <laughs> but I did say we'd have cheese. I oh, did say Santa would give us cheese. cheese. We all knew there would be cheese. That's just the Santa way. That's uh, the gift that keeps on giving, and he'll never stop doing it. I say that, but his next game might not be like that. He, uh, he yeah, He's also a decent point. macro player. He, he can pull out anything out of his hat, and those are always the most dangerous players, the ones that can do almost anything. The only thing he can't do is, uh, you know... Play, uh, play as well as Hydra or Magical, but he's taking games off them too, so we can't count Santa out. It's 1-0 for Scruffy. Like saying, the only but... thing he can't do is play a straightforward game. <laughs> you know, it's straightforward when you put Dervish in every base. It's not not out of the ordinary. <laughs> That's only because Santa's done it so often it's gotten normalized. <laughs> Everyone's been doing it and then like, you know what, we need to nerf the Dervish. Darn. And then he does other stuff now. Ah, the, la the, the dancing <laughs> ladies have been... Uh, I've been hit by the nerf hammer, and let's see if Santa can get something else nerfed. Probably not in the Whitewood Reapers if uh, Scruffy can defend it so well. I, I'm honestly kind of surprised we haven't seen Dervish Mine used more. Like, it gives you a damage boost, 
it's it's something. And I don't it know. Also it, slows down, though. It, it, it just it, oh oh yeah. Santa Santa's doing it again on Lost Pro. This is last week on Lost Province. Like Frontier, I, sure, but Lost Province going for the six mo. Oh man. Okay. I've seen it. I've seen it in two v twos. Two v twos work. Does it work in one v one? I have no idea. I have yeah, no idea this is gonna work. Santa's just going for it, and oh. I mean. Scruffy knows they saw it. Their scout spotted the symbiotes popped in. It got got ripped to shreds. You you want to know like Fury Craft? I think the best way to do it is to pull some uh, some of your moats off, so there's more building as Santa behind his his moats are rebuilding. You get free income from oh, yeah. that. To, you get free income, so you're always going to be building stuff. Is Santa just going to cancel that natural? Oh, it seems to be. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they got the neutral tower help for firepower. That being said, symbiotes actually have a reasonably high DPS. All the and workers have a really reasonable They do. Defense. It's it's kind, they, of fun. it's kind of funny sometimes you can actually it's you're better to defend your worker line with your workers. Yeah. A lot of the time. And anyway, Santa in, they have 30 the seconds left. activated. They they for activated. 30 seconds. Yes. But more so importantly, let's... they took out the expansion. Does Santa have anything else coming in to actually build this back up? They do have a the Ultra Stalker. of the Worthy. They're getting bone stalkers. Legion Hall's coming in for Scruffy. They decided, okay, I can't get the fast expand. We're going for cheese. We're going for cheese. I'm going to go fast aggression. See what happens. Make it, yeah, make something Santa's happen. Santa's fully mining now. So Santa can long distance mine to get a bit more. He doesn't have his expansion, but neither his opponent. This is just a weird game state that Santa seems to thrive on. Or, I don't know if he thrives on it, but he sure does like making that game state. <laughs> I, it's, it's, yeah, it's kind of a weird, like, it's no, the it's way he plays speed chess, so I get it. Yeah. But <laughs> still, like, it's still, it's like Santa said, if I don't know what I'm doing, how will you know Not what I'm do doing? You. <laughs> yeah. Drunken general. Drunken yep. general strategizing. Well, Santa, Santa has succeeded in the past of doing his multiple, but I've only seen it work really well in 2v2. What's the 1v1? I don't think anyone's advantage. Scruffy has twice the basis since his income wasn't interrupted. He just has a later expansion. His income wasn't interrupted on his main base. He didn't have to pull his workers to... To start doing stuff. The big advantage of getting worker on worker fights is that you'll have some workers mining at the end of the day because they're rebuilding. Yeah. Yours live, theirs die. Yeah. I was kind of surprised Santa didn't go into Scruffy's base, like you said, to take out the moon line. I, yeah, I really was surprised. Just, they just they stopped and went back. Yeah, just stopped the mining for a little bit. And now Bone Stalker's managed. And, okay, there's no natural for there's no natural for uh, Santa this time. So Scruffy can just go no! around, though. No! Ah, shoot. <laughs> no! Bye. This is such a cool game. Uh, we can wait a bit. No, we can't. No, we can't. It's fatal error. Oh, yep. it's fatal error. Darn. Yeah, it's. Uh, it. Yeah, I have. You. It, it's no. It. It. It said no. The game didn't want to be played. It. It. It was. It's sick of Santa's. It's sick of Santa's crap. Aren't like we no, all? Santa. You play a straight game. You play a <laughs> proper game, or or you don't get to play at all. Ah, well, <sighs> well, I guess we're just redo. Yep, yeah, redo. There's no one in a clear advantage, and let's just redo. All right, Santa. Santa. Well, Santa presumably wants to play in Lost Province. I'm not going to bother asking. <laughs> yeah, Santa doesn't want to. There's enough bases here. We see the thing is, I feel like on on say a. Uh, other maps, it could just be the same thing, right? On Fool's Bay, it'll probably work even better. Uh, the, long, the distance is maybe a bit further to get to their opponent's base. But Yeah, I think Fool's Bay might... Like, there's two angles it's, of attack. It's There it's is, weird... and you don't know which natural they're going to go for, and each natural is... I don't know. I think... I also think Fool's Bay might actually not be that optimal for this. So apparently Santa, um, we're, we're just getting news from this. Santa did beat Magical with this build earlier today. So Santa has practiced it and knows what he's doing, kind of. Uh, well, does he? I, I, I never know if Santa knows what he's doing. He just does it. And it often works. Santa has but, made their opponents as confused as they are, if nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, yeah, see? When I mentioned see, the idea of doing the same thing twice, that's the mind game, that's because Santa does that all the time. Yeah, that's what we want to hear, right? We want to see. And yeah, this time Scruffy reacts appropriately. Says, Santa's just weird. He's going to do the same thing. I'm going to go for a fast tech. Yeah, not even, not even going for the expansion. They're, yes. they're not so going to fall for the no mix-up mix-up. 
And this time Santa goes on the other path to make sure that he doesn't get detected immediately. And Scruffy can go for later expansion this time, but no, sending a mold out to actually detect everything, see what's going on. He has double scouts. And actually he was going for a proxy probably as he went for double tech and the proxy gets stopped. Ooh. Yep, this Santa. time Santa's going to main. But Santa's there going to main? This time. Scruffy... There are six well, see, workers. There are six workers. They're pulling off the mode line. Santa, of course, is building their own at the same time. Santa's worker micro... Oh, their melee micro is pretty on point. Yeah, Scruffy's play... Both of them went for really good uh, worker micro here. No one losing too much. And I don't think... I, they didn't lose this. anything. Yeah, both of them went for six workers, six workers, and they both lost a bit of mining. Which in day is what Santa wanted, but instead he's heading back home for that long distance mining. And <laughs> killing the pyre. Just getting some pyre. <laughs> Just free pyre. Well... I mean, might as well. Oh. Yeah, so half them going back, and he decides the other half should just keep harassing as long as they can. Stop your opponent from getting that pillar. Yeah, take the pyre, that'll work. At any rate, Scruffy is back into the military production. Santa Claus getting their bone stalkers. Scruffy does have the advantage of Ether, though. They can tech up. They can advance in this game. Santa I right now is stuck on bone stalkers. Yeah, well, Scruffy they sent out a very early moat that got captured by those symbiotes. So he was planning some type of proxy, is my guess. And after seeing Santa's weirdness, okay, Santa's also on one base, it's not. Let's not do the proxy. He can just tech up at home and go for whatever from there. Well, looks like Santa's. What are they doing? Not going for another Legion, all, or Altar of the Worthy. So just Mass Bone Stalker going for Blood. Well oh, that's what the Blood level looks like in the bottom? Yeah, huh. it's just a, it's an amber room that's under not underground. It's always good to know how the tech works, right? You just that's, like lower it under, and, under Y and oh under Z and there you go. Actually, I don't know if this Y or Z. Actually, it, it really depends. Each, each game no. engine handles it differently. Whether Y is okay. vertical or Z is vertical. Oh, uh, we know it's not X. We know it's not X. Okay. Nothing does X. I think it's Proxy Whitewood Reaper. Is it? Is it going to be? With no ether? No, no. No, no ether. Okay. Forget just Proxy Bone Stalkers because why not? <laughs> Proxy Bone Stalker against Zentari going around the backside. Yeah, no, he, he can have enough Ether if he kills the tower at the top as well to get that oh so important to. Uh... And, and Santa's gonna have his surprise of his life. His opponent didn't expand either. Yeah, just it's all aggression all the time. We do have tech though. Soul Foundry's up, Absolvers are on the way. These Bone Stalkers don't have an easy route into the base. But the Zentari oh. are gonna be a threat. Oh, static defense coming up. Very smart from Santa. Getting that ready because he knows what's what's up. He's still on one base. Only one really strong point of depth of attack. And these Absolvers do heavy damage to those poor Bone Stalkers. They head on back home because there's nothing they can do at this point. Well, I got enough the of proxy. them, I guess. You can get ambushed, maybe, and get that invisible shot. Well, that would take a lot of ether. Yep. Yeah, he's still on etherless. And here comes the move. Omnivore's not quite done. <laughs> well, you got the extra mo symbiotes. You might as well use them to, ta to fight. Uh, not against Force Zentari, though. <laughs> Omni Force can get maybe a shot off? Gets four or five. Oh, gets like seven shots off before it goes down. Yeah, and all bomb stoppers are just faster, so there's nothing much he can do with those. Uh, unless he puts down the pillar, which he could. Uh, a little bit short on pyre. A little short on pyre. Yeah. wonder what he used it for. He wasn't. Um, maybe I didn't look right. I thought he was around 80. Oh, there you go. Defensive yeah. stuff at the top. <laughs> okay, he assumes his opponent's left his base. So Santa Claus can keep themselves safe, at least until the Absolvers push. And well, if the Absolvers push, Santa Claus can come back around and start dealing some damage. Yeah. So Scruffy is between a rock and a hard place at the moment. Yeah, but even Santa's... though he broke his opponent's rock, um, the hard place is coming back in as Santa... <laughs> Santa sees the absolvers are gone. Oh, okay, time to attack into this. Now the hard place going for a flanking maneuver. Make it a bent. You bent. And Santa Claus has threatened yeah, enough to at least pull go. things back. Oh, he still wants it. There you uh, go. Don't don't let it go. Oh, we gotta be careful. They don't want to make it obvious because you know, obviously at this point, Scruffy doesn't know whether or not it's a proxy or the rocks are broken. Absolvers in the, in position now. How can he run out? Ooh, that's going to take a lot of damage. Right? Painfully. One, very, two. very painfully. Half One. of their Bone Stalkers get wiped. No further Bone Stalkers are being built at the moment. 
Hey, it's uh, it's like, like Sun Tzu said, it's all about opportunity. You know if what your opponent doesn't know can kill him. Well, that's the idea. If your opponent is protecting the front, so attack their back. But this unfortunately, they don't have tech. It's just that lack of... The ether's finally online. That's, it's been interesting. So and the game is... To... Oh, crying out loud. Mm, unfortunate again. Fatal error once more? I Maybe? I'm not seeing the the social client pop on me, but I guess. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yep. Uh, okay. Yeah, sometimes I'm just hoping, like, you know, the server will come back up. We've had a few times. I've, Not this I wait until the social client pings me on the taskbar, and when that happens, mm -hmm. I know it's over. Yeah, it makes sense. That's that's always been the, the key. Okay, well, redo number three. Third time's the Third charm. Third time's the charm. I mean, the games are starting just fine, at least. It's just, you know, at some point in the game, the game decides it doesn't want to be played anymore. Well, uh, there's been some bug discussion, so you know the devs are always looking for more bugs. Bro, so they are trying to figure out what's going out. on. This is yeah, this is a topic reported. of active research. Yep, just uh, report it. Anyone that figures out a way that this bug is happening, please report it, and game will be better for it. As uh, you know, sometimes bugs are weird and no one understands them, and then uh, they'll start stuck in your blood, and that's oh, that's Aru. Okay. Yeah. They're actually like, not oh, blood. Yeah. They're, they're sylphs. It's not bloods. It's not cre It's not uh, It's not bugs. I mean, they might drink blood. I don't know. Blood's got stuff in it. Again? Again? Santa did say Santa, the sooner or later, it's not, it almost didn't work last time. It, honestly, you probably would have lost last game if you hadn't. Even the tech switch was a little late. That was I, that's really pushing it. But now you're going for a third time. I get I you like the no mix up mix up, but I think Scruffy's got wise to you. Double yeah, leaf the I, I do think tap. Santa was behind. I think Santa was behind. But you know, if he keeps doing it, he's Scruffy just means he has to prepare for it every single time. So the one time Santa doesn't do it, he'll have a decent lead. Because Scruffy now, he's just reacted. Okay, he, you do that. I'm just going to get double Efer from the get-go and assume you're doing it. And, you know, Santa's just preparing for the, la for the later, later stage of the tournament. He can get eliminated here and just go through lower bracket. Santa doesn't care. He'll see Scruffy when it actually matters. Scruffy in Losers Finals and our Grand Finals is like, Nope, I'm not doing <laughs> worker pulls anymore. You got a deal. Which is like going to be one game and then Scruffy goes back to doing a standard fast expand. And then Santa's like, Ha ha, I worker pull. Which is the point. To be fair, <laughs> you're not wrong. You're not wrong, ZK. You can't expect what Santa will do. You really can't. But that's why we have early scouts, so that you don't have to. Yeah. yeah having those early scouts is really, really useful. And Scruffy behind us is going for a proxy of his own. He's pulled his mult much earlier this time to have it in position. And he's ready. Proxy Soul Foundry. Oh, yeah. He's going for the kill pull right away. He doesn't want to deal with this again. At the same time, Santa's expanding at the bottom instead. Santa getting a secret expansion. Wants to make okay. His oh, you know what? I like this. Okay, so this is this is the mix-up. This is the mix-up. Is that the you have all the moats will make it look like it's going to be a super aggressive early game, and then once the scout's gone, I'll probably start building up ether to get actual tech going, while the expansion so have, is going as well. I feel like I was wondering last time Scruffy never actually scouted the the proxy. And this time he sent a moat there, he's like, okay, he probably just placed it in my base, and this time he checked right away with his moat. So learning from his opponent, Santa's gonna have, I was gonna, his gift, uh, his, his bag of gifts is gonna end up running dry if this keeps up, but I, I have trouble believing that with Santa, honestly, his bag of gifts is yeah, uh, like, running. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if there's an option, I don't know if there's an option that they'll end up, or a point, like at the point where they have no options left to explore. Yeah. Well, should come the Absolvers. Next part of this push, Santa keeps scouting and discovers his opponent did not actually go for the go go for an expand yet. That that can raise some alarm bells, at the very least. Teapot sees that exactly. Oh, is that moat gonna go for it? Is it? Are they gonna find the six o'clock? <laughs> oh no, no! It's going! It's uh, nope. turning! It's looking for the blood well. Santa Jeez. still one step ahead. And has the Santa ether going? Place it there. Santa could place it there. Now he knows. Yep. But the Absolvers yeah. are on the way, which is the bigger problem, because and nothing is equipped to deal with them. Except, I guess, they the could have been scouted war, there. Maybe. They went into the, the tower's range, so he, if he was looking, he might have seen free Absolvers coming in. And at this point, it's all about, like, 
like at this point, it's about the bone stalkers coming in, shooting before the absorbers get set up. He's playing them static defense, but they're not in the right position. Mm. Like, well, Strafi doesn't want to attack side. up a hill. You don't want to go up a hill. Okay, so Santa has the the time hill. to attack. Oh, but this. they're not. Okay, this is one goes. No, not even one goes down. This is just Santa Wait. Claus forcing them to de deploy, undeploy, deploy, undeploy, and then get hit while, while trying to leapfrog. Yeah, that's what he needs. He, he needs to keep doing this. He needs to keep doing the damage back and forth. He might get that one. And now the Zentaris are in, so he actually has to micro back. Has... Oh man, they deal with the Zentari really well. Oh, Mark Mark comes Mark down though. The damage down. boost is on. Damage boost is real. The Absolvers are going to die. And there is nothing they can do about it. Even the moats decide, you know what? I'm just going to come in here. Oh, they got a couple seconds so left powerful. of the damage boost. Zolver is down. Centauri are still up, but the Bone Starkers can deal with them by kiting. However, the moats have all, or the symbiotes have all gone down. The Bone Starkers are, and the tower are going to be it for Santa Claus to defend this. However, the proxy has been dealt with. The expansion is secure for Santa in the six o'clock, and Scruffy's expansion has only just now started over in their natural. So Santa maintaining an economic advantage oh. and is going to go for a proxy Bone Canopy because why not get some thrums right in the backside of their opponent's base where it is least expected at this stage in the game. He even ha hid the the hid the the god heart. They're going to uh, the grove heart going to a god heart. Oh, you're so right. They know. did in the six o'clock. Yeah, his opponent knows nothing about what's going on. Yeah, as far so as they know, there. Santa Claus is basically just going hard into Bone Stalker. Maybe shifting off into Resonant somewhere. Well, but let's not forget that, that uh, yeah. the Frums are actually much more expensive now. I think they're eighty Efer or something like that. Seventy or eighty Efer. Seventy five. So really believe. expensive. They're really expensive, but Santa does have a lot of Efer saved up, at least. And here come the Frums. All four of them. That should Did be enough. Did their supply also go up? No, 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 no. This is the okay. low one. Oh, uh, there's the fifth. Oh, okay. And it's been scouted. It has been oh, no. scouted. Scruffy knows. Scruffy knows oh, what's but up. But he didn't see the Bone Canopy. I don't think he went all the way in to see the Bone Canopy. Oh, he knows his base is there. He knows he can attack it and deal more economical damage. They did not. You're right. Just barely they didn't. Yeah, out of vision. And the Frums are in, but the Frums could defend us instead. They don't need to go harass. But what does he want? He wants to harass. No, they want harass. They want harass. This is Santa Claus. If the option, if there's an aggressive option or a defensive option, the defensive option doesn't exist. And a freeze efforts, though. Oh, man, that's painful. Infuse on Infuse the... comes down. He wants to kill is them. Gonna... Is it enough? That's uh, not going to be enough. There's a tower. There's a tower. It's just, it just, they can't win the DPS race. They don't deal enough damage to heavy units. Mark Prey Ooh, dropping. Mark Prey. This will allow them to win the DPS race. Oh, damn. Mark Prey does double their damage or so. I think it's double damage, so yeah. I believe it's double, damage yeah. coming down. I mean, Owl. the point is more push them out of the way so the moats become vulnerable. But so the damage boost is over. So the thrums continue along. Santa, however, is having to defend against Antaria on all sides. Having to deal with the fact that their main their expansion is being wiped out. Their thrums are doing some damage. It's, that's it against enough? the base. It's hard to tell. Scruffy is fully aware of everything else going on in the map. They have two expansions that are fully operating. And well, okay, one that's fully operating, the other one that's obviously somewhat delayed at the moment. No, that from coming in from the wrong angle and taking it out immediately. Only four left. They have the they have their blood frenzy going on enough and Santa back on one base moats running away because they know they can't deal with those frums frums doing as much as they can there's defensive units there so those Zentari can't do much frums come in from the front see the base and Zephyr can just waddle over to save this surprised they didn't ping the neutral tower component can't be finally going down and with that Santa Claus's secret base is no more the thrums finally come back to Nope, no they don't. They they juke the casters because they got what their Santa own agenda. Does. What Santa does? Where are those frums? Frums have a mind of their own. They just want to go and attack anything they can. They're hungry. Yeah, losing that blood world is actually pretty painful. As the blood world uh, can heal those frums as a, if you go back to him. Uh, sometimes. Oh, there were two more on site. Oh, he's a surprise. That's <laughs> not a very pleasant surprise. Now the Thrums have to fall back on the looks of it. I like the tower from Scruffy. Scruffy taking the tower that can attack the base if Santa decides to expand there eventually. Uh, but I think Santa's committed to playing one base till the end of this. That commitment seems to be killing them. 
So they don't have enough resources to really support anything. They get in the neurosite presumably for actually for anything. It could be literally anything. Could be <laughs> could calls, just be for could be stock. Just get a bit of just get a bit of uh, invisibility, but then he get yeah for ambush you do need an extra you need the red the red veil. You do yeah. He, he doesn't so have you a can Godhead. go invisible with just the neurosite, but you need to have the red veil to get the damage bonus and range. He doesn't bonus. have a god heart anymore. Do oh, you're right. That was the oh, because the secret god heart. Yep. Oh, they hoist by the rumpetard. It is going to be Zakals, however. That's the switch, and I I see it. There's a lot of Zephyrs coming through. So Zakals will definitely deal with them for the damage type and just being the tank. Also making it easier to deal with the Zentari because the tank. So few units. <laughs> this is a very much. scrappy match. Well, it's a scrappy match for Santa Claus. Scruffy is gradually increasing their army. Like They got the 80 supply worth of army right now. They don't care. The Zentari will be sacrificed. They won't. They'll try and do as much damage as they can. There's no uh, out of position thing for for Santa. Unfortunately, that Nurse like might actually go down before it can finish an upgrade. And no, he decides to go for the fight. The Zentari are down. The harassment is over for Scruffy. Santa continuing with their thrums to the avail of losing some thrums. They see the third, however, so they know what's up. They also might know that Scruffy is getting a dangerously large army for what Santa can deal with right now. Even with the Zakals with the damage boost. Which is going to help. Don't don't be wrong. That's a solid choice when you're dealing with all these efforts. Isn't but it? it's tough for what Santa has economically. This is basically it. If Santa can't win with this army, they're not going to have the resources needed to continue this game. We believe in Santa, right? Up to a point, I guess. Up to a point, yeah. <laughs> yep. Sentinels are here, they really, he doesn't, Scruffy is just done dealing with Rum, so he just makes the Sentinels. At this point, it's army against army. Santa is going for the big all-in as he has no economy behind this. Oh, but that's oh, a good catch. Oh, caught it out! There's the wind step to save the day. One of the Zephyrs does go down. It's still getting a pressure situation. Oh, Santa Claus has got to be careful. They might burn all his call damage on this Acropolis. They do! The Zephyrs can take them out far more easily, and they do. The Acropolis is not going down. The Zephyrs are going to be able to take some free hits. Santa Claus looking to get away. He even goes for the forward wind step there to, to get that, get as much damage on them as possible. And Santa's rejoining his forces, but kind of going in the wrong direction. Oh, Go for a they but... tried. They tried. Uh, the damage. Oh, but Santa being Santa decides to take advantage of the situation. They forced their opponent's army to fall forward, and now, what can they do? I can set up a regroup. That's, that is something they can do. Wow, yeah, Santa's going hard on this. Okay, this is getting close to the numbers of calls needed to one shot or to three shot an Acropolis. I felt it's oh. about eighteen or twenty or oh, so. Infuse here, really infuse here. Okay, he goes for it. He does get the he base. Gets pops. Completely they destroyed. are suicide diving the Acropolis. This is very risky. He's going to go down. No, it is not. And Santa Claus decides it is not going to be the game for them today. And no that... worries. Santa has the lower bracket. And Santa Scruffy... has the lower bracket. Scruffy goes on against uh, our good friend Magical. Magical in the winner's final. As for the rest of the bracket, since we will update, lower oh. bracket has been running. Lucid has defeated Kegere and main what got DQ'd, so they are up against Flicky. Outfoxed beat Shadow Murloc and ends up against Santa Claus. Mm. So Lucid's quarterfinals will be happening while the winner's semi is going on. Probably when we get back to it, it'll be up to the loser's finals, depending on how long the Magical Scruffy game takes. But considering the players involved, I imagine this will be a bit of a longer series. Uh, possibly. Uh, they, well, you know, you say that, but Magico has his timing. Scruffy is great at defending, as we've seen so far, but it could go it could go either way. Magico might just find a perfect timing. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what ends up happening here. Uh, as you said, lower bracket, Outfox making it to... Beating Shadow Murloc is actually a, kind of a surprise. Shadow Murloc has been pretty good, and I haven't seen much of Outfox, but he's been streaming the game as well, so people can feel free to watch his stream at, uh, at Fox Gaming. Go on our Discord. He has links on the IGP content creator channel, so... You can find him there. They were actually kind of worried about if they didn't sleep well enough, how well they'd be able to do with this. But so far, they've, they're up 2-1. Yeah, no, beating, beating Lucidly Awake, losing to Magical, pretty standard. You can't... Uh, beating Magical is a feat that we don't oh, expect from many people. 
Yeah, my last last time I did a stream of this game was me getting my butt handed to me by Magical. So, there you go. Yeah, if you play Magical, that's going to happen. Of course, Magical is very benevolent. It will help us improve. And by improve, I mean beating us until we can defend the free, free pronged attacks. And, uh, yeah, th that's how you improve. It's, but I'm kidding. Magical is pretty nice. He will help you out in other ways. In any case, game. Magical is going to be up against Scruffy in a best of three for the winner's finals. Winner of this moves on to the grand finals, which I believe entitles them to a free win in the grand finals. Yep. Yeah. It's not a grand finals be reset. Five. Yep. Best of five with uh, one free win. That's what we've been doing the past few weeks. Oh, and apparently it's always going to be fools. It's going to be fools' bay in the grand finals for first map. That is that is Beautiful. required. Oh, that is beautiful. Finally, some Fool's Bay. We need to force some people to play on Fool's Bay. I'm happy about that. Ow. I mean, I mean it was it was busted before, but they fixed it, so we play on it. Good. Because they are that. good about fixing things. Oh, yeah. Just, report, just need people to report their bugs, which community is pretty good at doing. Especially if the community has had some few changes. We've had a... Uh, the community managers have changed in the last week or so. We've had uh, Jack Attack oh, leaving that role, uh, going completely into UI as he's known for doing the hotkey stuff in StarCraft 2. And, you know, just the general UI, making sure everything is as perfect as possible, building the staircase to help players improve to a decent level. And now he wants that ingrained to the game itself, so he'll be working hard at that task. We have instead, coming into the game, Tempo, who also from StarCraft 2, a pretty big uh, commentator, He's known for doing a few StarCraft parody songs as well. So very happy to have him as a community community member coming in here. <laughs> of course, I'm, we had I'm excited. I don't really know them very well. Yeah. So I'm really curious to see what they're going to be like. But it's nice to have... Nice that the com, there's a bit more of a like specific thing. So Tom can work on the UI. Doesn't have to split their time. And now we have Tempo on the community side. Which means we have fully dedicated community manager. Which is pretty cool. And we have Seamus that's going to be fully on to esports, I believe, or tournament or outdoors, outdoor activities. I, yeah, that's just uh, Seamus's new role, who has changed it up again. Not sure of the exact uh, the exact name, but he will be in charge of competition. I think. Yeah, I think it's Masters of Competition. I'll call him. I don't know. I mean, they, they're they're doing the TO work for this tournament. Oh yeah, no, no, that's what I'm saying. That's his new role. Yeah, he did say it yesterday that he had the new role for all competition. So. Uh, there's going to be this, and I'm sure he has other plans with other people coming in and helping out, getting everything set up. 